guys, and welcome to the latest episode of Drinking with the Stars. We're here at Riviera 31 at the Sofitel Hotel in Los Angeles, and I am joined by the star of Walking Dead, Josh McDermott. You might know him as Eugene Porter, Dr. Eugene Porter. The only star. The only Everyone star. Everyone else, no. Don't worry about anybody else. The only reason I came to do this interview is because it's called Drinking with the Stars, and <laughs> I could drink. That's how we drink. get most people. <laughs> That's all I care about. What do you have? Uh, I'm drinking a uh, bullet rye. A bullet rye, and I have a strawberry basil martini. So cheers! Oh, sorry. Cheers. No, I'm <laughs> I'm way ahead of you. But we love you as Dr. Eugene Porter. Oh, thank Your you. Your new addition. Yeah. New-ish, now not so much in season five. Uh, yeah, we came in the back half of uh, season four along with uh, Michael Cudlitz mm -hmm. and Christian Serratos who play Abraham and Rosita. And uh, the whole mission for my character is he plays a scientist. He knows what caused the apocalypse and how to stop it. And right. they're trying to get him to Washington, D.C. Right. Uh, to kind of stop this thing. And it's it's been a wild ride. It's been fun to yeah. play a comic book character and and to be working on the show that was my favorite show before I came on. Oh, was it? Oh, yeah. Oh, how I cool. Mean, how lucky for you. And I still get starstruck. I'm si you know, I'll be sitting there, I'm like, there's Chad Coleman, or there's, <laughs> there's Norman Reedus. Oh, my gosh, you know. Um, it's a lot of fun, and um, the, the responsibility with this character is really awesome, too, <laughs> because it, it's, it's actually kind of funny. Like, a lot of the fans are like, wait, you... You know you're the gonna, cure. You're gonna, you know the cure, and you're gonna end my favorite show, you jerk. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm not, I don't want to end the show. Like, I you can't I, tell anyone. Is that why you won't tell anyone? I, fans <laughs> wanted me to ask you why you won't just tell people what the cure is. Uh, yeah, well, the cure is actually in the mullet. Uh, that Eugene has. It's like <laughs> so you just—it's like about. mullet extract. You just wring it out <laughs> and uh, capture it and just like, kind of like holy water. Just like splash oh. it on the zombies. Spoiler alert, guys! It's in the mullet. Yeah, that's all. That's all. Season five's about <laughs> is the mullet. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Um, but as what you were talking about before is Michael Cudlitz's character and Rosita, the newbies. Uh huh. Um, how are you guys going to fit in with in this train car that you are all? jam-packed in with the old crew. How is that dynamic going to play out this season? It's interesting because, um, you know, up until this point, up until the train car, mm -hmm. we're traveling with Glenn and Tara, right. and we had just met up with Maggie and Sasha and Bob. So we've gotten to know them a little bit, but all of a sudden we're with these other people right. that are... Um, animalistic in a sense, you know? Yeah. Rick's final words is they don't know who they're screwing with, right. you know? And it's... It, you know, from Eugene's point of view, he's sitting there, you know, going like, okay, we need to get to D.C. And, like, who are these people? I know right. you said you trust them, but, like, who are these guys? Yeah. And it's, it's a little scary, you know? They don't know what's going to happen. Right. It's, they're trapped in a train car of death, a yeah. boxcar of death, as I call it, you yeah. know? Box and so you just, you're just you still trying to figure out who is who you can trust. Because, you know, the thing I tell people all the time, it's not a show about zombies. It's a show about survival and survival from each other. Right. More it than anything. It's more about the humans. Absolutely. Surviving humans than zombies. Zombies are easy to kill. Yeah, so here we are in this train car knowing that there's a threat outside because we've been thrown in here, right. but now who are these new people coming in? Right. That are just seemingly at their, their the end of their rope, mm -hmm. you know? And that's that's a fun dynamic that we really get to explore in season yeah. five. Okay, so what is bigger and better about season five? Without that, I know you can't tell me anything. But I mean, what is bigger and better? the mullet is bigger. The <laughs> is mullet really? is a they lot tease better. It oh, they teased it higher. They actually, it's actually extensions. Is it? Okay. Yeah, so you All can right. see, I kind of have a baby mullet. Uh, but they clip yeah. in, and then um, to make it longer. But I noticed as as we were filming, they started clipping it higher and higher. No, they actually did. They That's actually hysterical. clipped it higher. But uh, so now I got well, a nice. Well, has got to grow. Yeah, I got a nice <laughs> quaff. I got a. Uh, if I'm, if I'm allowed to use the word quaff. I, yeah. I oh, think so. Oh, you are. Okay. It's the internet. We can say anything. <laughs> but. Um, yeah, so season five, you know, it's it is bigger and better. It's more intense yeah. than any of the other seasons. I mean, I came into this as a fan of the show right. first, and and just watching this and reading the scripts, I'm going, oh my gosh, this is going to be the best season. Mm -hmm. I mean, the first just few minutes of the first episode of season five, just I mean, it had me on the edge of my seat right. just watching it again, and I I lived through it, and I was like, oh my gosh, yeah. like, I can't believe that we're we're just pushing it this much. Yeah. It's really exciting. Well, Josh, tell them how and when they can watch Walking Dead. Oh, this is a lot of pressure here. <laughs> uh, you can tune in to AMC on October 12th. You can see season five of The Walking Dead at 9, 8 central. All right, cheers. Cheers, I did it. You did it. Yay.